Yo! Video games. He is Scottish, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's David Tennant. <laughs> it's David Tennant Mc, McDuck. Alan Young's last appearance at Scooter's Rough? You shut your whore mouth. <laughs> he was fucking great in DuckTales Remastered. What are we doing back here? Someone said there was a cave here that I missed. I bet it's behind the waterfall, right? Under the bridge? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not finding no cave here. <laughs> I ain't wait, this waterfall. Breaking my concentration. Do, 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 do. Still doesn't forgive him. Like you'd have to think really hard about that. Well, hey, well, hey, you found two skis. Awesome. Bonkers. Yeah, totally nuts. I built a cool. Bust a move, got a groove. I'm here to bust a move. There's gotta be something around here. Right? Almost, what? There had to have been. Unless you want the banana birds in the cave up the waterfall on the other end. This one? I can't get there. Undercover Cove. I'm gonna have to refrain from this conversation. Yeah. I know I don't even want to start the conversation to be honest. Alright, so I can't move from here. K3? <laughs> Wait, okay. what? Wait, is it like the mountain K whatever next to Everest? That would be correct. Mm-hmm. 
crevice creepers. Yeah, there's some... There's some, uh... Impressive background looking shit, honestly, on this. Like, for, for CG backgrounds on a fucking SNES. This is about as far as I think I ever got when I played with, whoa, Max or whatever. a good run back. Actually, a bad idea. I get a remote. Holy shit, I never picked up on that. Grab the other rope. That's bullshit. Ah, you need to get over there faster. It's almost like he waits to hit it first. Yeah. Okay. There we go.
Everything's okay. I just kind of want to jump. Thank you. Thinking about this game and all of its backgrounds and, and, the, and the level of quality the backgrounds are, actually, I'm reminded of a, of a story. Not really a story, but if you know about Angel Studios, they made Red Dead and they did the RE2 port on the N64. They originally offered, like, they originally proposed to Capcom to, that they would do Final Fantasy 7 on N64. And and basically like Square turned them down or my might have even been Nintendo cuz Yamauchi was so fucking pissed at them. Um and and some people said, "How are you going to do 3 CDs on one cartridge?" And they're like apparently they were saying like there's a lot of junk data on fucking Final Fantasy 7. Nice. Thank you. Toss me. Throw me. Here's area seven on cartridge, yeah. Oh shit. Yup, we jumping right into it. more carding so yeah like i mean they were going to do it with they probably and they pro honestly they probably could have because and especially if you have today's compression technology like you could you could absolutely fucking put uh fucking compress seven down probably without even much trouble anymore Yeah, there's a physical copy of 7 on Switch. It has 7 and 8 you know. on it. 7 and 8 remaster. This fog is moving at about 30 miles an hour. Nah. I can take that on. Drawing in the snow right there? Yeah. Look at that emulation glitch. My question is, why did they bother doing the animation for Player 2? Hey, take over and you're dead. I didn't. Oh, I went in. Oh, that's because I went off a cliff. Oh my god, the jump! There you go. You got it. <laughs> wow, it's like giving it back to me. Yeah, because it kills you in the pit and then it kills me right after. Well, it was released in mainland Asia a while ago. Japan just got the physical cop 
copy of 7 and 8, and 8 remastered on a Switch cart. I kind of want to have it. Does not fucking work. I want to find it so that I can then find that whoever. I want to find that advertiser from the 90s, that cringe ass person who, who made that, that whole advertisement where they're like, please give the man who invented. Here's the best part there's an ad from 97. That shows just the the Junian Har Junin Harbor Cannon, and it says, "Please give the man who invented a cartridge a cigarette and a blindfold." Now Jerry Lawson is the creator of the cartridge, which revolutionized video games in the 70s, and he's one of the few notable uh, uh, people in the video game industry who's not only was he a critical inventor, he was criminally overlooked. Uh, and, you know, he was one of the first major, uh, um, I guess, you, I don't know how, how, how would you say, not only was he a pioneer, but he was like the first, uh, black pioneer in the video game industry. So I want to find this advertiser that either Square Enix or their advertising firm they used, find them and go, oh, you're advocating you want to murder the, the inventor of cartridges, one of the only... Uh, one of the only, you know, notable, you know, people in the industry in the early 70s who was a person of color and you want to ki kill him? Take this cartridge and shove it up your ass. <laughs> shove it right up your fucking ass. That's what I want to do. I want to find this dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> Back there. banana yeah I was gonna say this guy has gotta be around here yeah african-american and self-taught I'm like yeah let me like I almost want to like I would love to bring that up and like square can you explain your your cringe fucking marketing from the 90s that advocated like murdering you know, a person of color for inventing something that revolutionized the industry because you had fucking CDs you fucking cringe factory, you Square Enix. Barrel drop bounce. Alright, so this is gonna be weird. I'm sure the guy who made that ad, he probably had no idea. I mean, to be fair, if I'm being a completely honest and fair, I'll bet that guy didn't even know. He probably had no fucking clue. But, like, I'd hate to be in his shoes if, like, he found out and be like, ugh. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> I agree. Cringe Factory should be the name for Quantic Dream. They should tra change Quantic Dream their studio named the Cringe Factory. Uh, David Cage's place? Yeah. What the fuck, Slipper? Right 
Hey, remember when David Cage had a creepy fucking notebook folder full of uh, images of Elliot Page in his youth and shit? Because he was such a fan of his. And then he, he made a nude scene with Elliot Page without his consent. Yeah, yeah. I definitely call that cringe factor material. <laughs> now that's what I call yikes. <laughs> Where's a fucking thing? Ah! <laughs> Age like milk. He still got that that nude CG model. Yep. El no, I mean Elliot Page. Look, <laughs> look up some current events there, Master Tonberry. <laughs> Fuck you. Leave David Cage alone. No, fuck him. He's a creepy asshole. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Fuck you, Knuckles. I'd been five. Yeah. I was just about to say, I was about to feel like I bet five bucks he doesn't even know. I didn't even know until Simmons said something. I th well, I, to be fair, I think it's only been, what, two weeks at most? Yeah. I mean, that doesn't excuse what David Cage did during the development of his game, though. Holy fuck. Like, that shit was gross. There's something up here. There's gotta be, right? There's no reason it would be this way. God, the emulator is struggling too, Jesus. David Cage, an industry icon for all the wrong reasons. Fuck. If he was creepy, he would have been Ubis U Unisoft? You mean Ub Ubisoft? I mean, he's the head of his fucking studio. <laughs> and he's had... He's had allegations come out against him. From other female employees. Fuck! 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 Where the hell am I going? The wrong way. Ah, god damn it! Right into it. You think if you think every cre person who does something creepy or amoral in the game industry gets gets immediately removed when it when the knowledge comes out? Huh.
There's an angry face in the snow. Crack shot crop. How many more worlds are there after this one? Charlotte Buff assaulted his ex-girlfriend. Uh, raise your hand if you're surprised by that. Raise your hand if anyone is surprised by that. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck me. Well, I'm getting that one. Like, this is still doing the thing where, like, each level is, like, it's mostly unique gimmick, but you can kind of tell they were running out of ideas by this game. Definitely feels like they had kind of, they were, they were kind of reaching their creative limit by here. I mean, they made three games in three years. It's not like they had a lot of time to really even think of new shit. Oh, but it's... Fuck. Oh, but something's over there. This is bad. This, the one that came with it, 10 star, and like one other. Yoshi Safari. It was Yoshi Safari, 10 star, and then there was a uh, Robo game that had it. I think that 
distant star. Unless you mean something else. Clash. Yay, I battle clash. So, Pebble Games for her game from Battle Clash, Bazooka, Blitzkrieg, The Hunt. Wait, what? The Hunt for October? Wait, what? I did not use a super scope. Used for bonus games. I'm gonna have to look into that. Oh, what do you fucking know? Uh, Lamborghini a... American Challenge features a super scope exclusive mode. Okay. The Lemons fuck was two? I don't know. Lamborghini challenge. Lamborghini American challenge features a super scope exclusive mode. What the fuck? Uh, Lemmings two: The Tribes two-player co-op, Metal Combat Falcon's Revenge, Operation Thunderbolt, Super Soap six bundled with the hardware. T2 the arcade game. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Ten Star X Zone and Yoshi Safari. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve games. Wow. That's not that bad. More than I thought. Lemguin Lunge? What? I kind of want to look into that. Why is Chris Lame Brown given? When has Chris Brown ever been given a pass? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, Tom Brady. Okay. Oh. That was a gimme. Stand on his head. I mean, apparently, you know, lo lots of people who... David Cage still makes games. Ran <laughs> Randy Newman still makes games. Ubisoft, like... <laughs> Eves Gilmont still, you know, still collects money from games. Of course. How's the control lag? Eh, not great. It's there. Yes, Randy Pitchford. <laughs> I think I said Newman. Yeah, Randy Pitchford.
Here's the thing, I don't think <sighs> when say when they say someone's canceled, that I don't know that, that that means as much as people think it means. I've def we've definitely seen a lot of people bounce back. an interesting boss fight. Did we get anything for that or no? Yeah, bonus point. That's it? And level completion. We didn't get like a gear or nothing? No. This is that's a day three is a required stage. That was pointless. <laughs> 